What's up, JQ? What's up, TQ? Hey, we're the Q we're brothers. The <laughs> we're the Q we're brothers. The Q brothers, and this is Small Flower TV. <laughs> um, it's summer, Jay. It although is. it's a little cool today. Um, well, it just got that way, yeah. Uh, yeah but anyway, we got some sweet products to try. Some old school Spanish favorites. Yes. Yes, mere salt. Um, take a look at the bottles on these. I don't know if it's and the colors, the and colors there, and the and the, and the typography and everything about it is just the the finger grooves for the. I know, if, gentlemen, if you've ever used an after shaving glass and been like, it's a little bit dangerous, slippery when I keep it in my medicine cabinet above my sink. You've been waiting for this hand holder bottle to come out where you know. I mean, it's been out, but you've been waiting to try this where it's like. You could have slippery, lathery hands, and it's gonna be hard to drop this as long as you grab it properly, you know? Oh, I like it. Whoa! <laughs> uh, um, so let's try them, Jay. Uh, it's their, their alcohol-based aftershaves, but they've each got a different property. Uh, they're created by uh, Mr. So Senor Soleil in Barcelona, who when we looked him up uh, in a couple sites, there's some interviews and things of him. And hopefully Natalia can put in a picture we'll of him. We'll try to put a picture because he's a... Nah. Because he's a pretty... That guy is awesome! <laughs> he's suave. Wow. So, um, anyway, that, that was in 2012, I think, so... Uh, but anyway, um, he's a self-taught chemist who started creating things so cool. and they've become known around the world so and we've gotten them in and they're super popular so let's uh, play around and test some out so we're going to stick with uh, given that we're not going to shave and test all these on our face at the same time and they are alcohol based each one is a little different thing so we're going to read to you from our little cheat sheet uh, what each one does and then, and then and give them. a little smell uh, why don't I pass them? we'll just okay. pass them back and forth so Jay why don't you set us up with some information on the uh, aftershave F, F Slash extra. Um, so, F, F slash extra aftershave, aftershave soothes the skin irritated by shaving. So, it's for ears, ear, shaving irritations and leaves you cool and refreshed, scented with a musky meth, menthol scent. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah, sweet musky menthol. It's nice. Yeah. Little on the sweet side for me, a little bit. It's musky, tempered, but it's a menthol. But the yeah. menthol evens it out in a nice, nice way. <laughs> that's nice. I really that's, like it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you can see also how if you were the type of person who got hot face, which is what I call it, after shaving, yeah. this would be pretty excellent without being like overpowering with the menthol. You know yeah. what I mean? So let's go to this one just because it's funny and it's pink and it's called plastic shave. Um, it's plastic. plastic shave is supposed to keep your face looking like plastic. Yes. I think it's especially designed for plastic surgeons. No, you really yeah, is supposed yeah, no. to make your face like tight, I know. like plastic. Tight. It's supposed yeah. to tighten up, but I it's just supposed to be like Botox after shave. <laughs> That's what they say, anyway. Yeah, Tightens yeah. and strengthens and strengthens strengthens sensitive skin to protect it from potential irritation. Use it before, or after. Has a slightly fruity fragrance, reminiscent of a hair salon. Yeah. Use but it before or after you shave for clearer skin and a painless shave. So it's a pre and post shave and but it's supposed to tighten the skin. Tighten the skin and it does smell like a hair salon in not an appealing way for me. However, um, <laughs> not, who am I to judge? Not a fan either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw that out there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I would say if you're you know, if you're a man and you want to use this and like your most cherished memory is of accompanying your mom to the salon as a kid and somehow that does it for you, you're going to love this. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not there, but yeah. All right. We're going to move to the uh, from Formula C. C. Formula C has a cool grass-like and repairs the skin after shaving. It sounds like they're all supposed to be repairing. But anyway, this is supposed to be a very grassy scent. Yeah. Let's see. Huh. What is, there's something that smells like something, uh... So there's also a soapy thing yeah, to this? Yeah, I was gonna say, I would grass and... Lettuce and soap. It smells a lot like the lettuce soap, actually. Yeah, except maybe yeah, with a little more, a little more soapy, a little more soapy scent to it than the lettuce soap. 
Yeah, it's like a little bit like it's a little bit like a little more dove. <laughs> dove. Yeah, I don't know if it's dove, but it's it's that you know kind I mean, of that it's kind like of... clean soap on a yeah. European vacation meets a slightly grassy scent. Not bad, not bad. Of the three so far, uh, the F oh, the extra is, is okay. sort of a. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, all right, so. Uh, Emulsion, JQ, which is a creamy uh, one. It's the only so one of these. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. So, what is this? Where is this one? Emulsion. I don't know. What do you guys It's on there. Emulsion. Do you have it? Should. I don't know. Let's check it out. This one we're trying anyway, so you don't have to find it as far as you can feel it. Got a nice uh, menthol. There is, I don't have anything on it, but but for guys, you know, if alcohol based uh, products are not your thing. This is nice actually. Yeah, this is uh, water and and uh, lotion, more like a, it's it's more of a balsam is really what yeah. it is. If you're going by European names, it's like a emulsion or balsam. Feel. Yeah, let me smell. So you're gonna have like the, and feel the difference to my hands now. Yeah, right. A you little tighter, like a little tighter, a little protective layer. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna soothe the skin, I think, and, and keep you like moistened but dry. If that makes sense, like you know what I mean. Like it, it feels like it gives the skin moisture, but then leaves you dry on top. If that makes sense, because it's got a little more grip. Yeah, you know what. You get the next one ready. I want to go read something about this so I can make sure that we're doing this correctly. Because I want to know a little bit more. And my Spanish is a little rusty. A little. All right, this one is the Metilsol. Metilsol, astringent aftershave. Disinfectant, it's got, oh, it's good for nicks and cuts. So this one has the potassium alum, which is what's in your, uh, your, uh, Styptic pencil, um, thymol, menthol, helps stop bleeding, and a herby kind of thing. Yeah, okay. this is a pre and post shape, the emulsion, just to jump back for a second, uh, which is what it says I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I would say it's nice actually. It's nice, it's light, it's not heavily scented, yeah. less heavily scented than these ones. So what is the menthol? This is it's for crystal? mix and cut. That's also? It's kind of medicine-y. Yeah, but I actually kind of like that. Yeah, that, it has a little like of the inspiration behind the um, the DS in Durga, Mississippi medicine. This is like one of the yeah, notes. Yeah, you're right. right. You're right. This is like a base note of hey, I'm gonna take that medicinal smet, sell, uh, medicinal scent of a barber shop and, and, and work, kind of work a work of in there. Yeah, that. and I and I actually kind of love that. That actually might be a good combo. Yeah, move because they wouldn't interfere with each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, and actually, this is this just has that straight up like I'm not wearing a set. This is like so let me take know. it take it back to the old school. Like yeah. you want you want your square. yeah take it to Union Square. I just don't care. What? Uh, yeah, but this is this is like hey, I'm gonna shave like my grandpa. Did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like the straight product up. that helps your skin, yeah. and however it has to smell is how I'm gonna smell. Yeah. You know what I mean? I kind of love it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Cool. It smells a lot like our pharmacy counter. That's what I was gonna say. This smells like our apothecary. This well, is... no, not the apothecary. No, the but front. The, no, the but what I mean is the apothecary. Yeah, the front's candles and they got all other stuff. The pharmacy counter. It where smells people like the pharmacy counter. Yeah, Whew, I like it's that. awesome. That's for us. That's the smell of growing up. That's awesome. I like that. Blue. Jazz. Nice. I think we like that one the best so far. Yeah. I like it a lot. Uh, blue. blue, traditional aftershave with menthol. So, all right, rocking it out. Ooh, <laughs> that's that's actually it's not just menthol. That's like that is when they say traditional aftershave, it's like men's men's aftershave scent with a little menthol. Yeah, this has like a little bit of classic European scent to it. Yeah, right? yeah, our yeah, what we describe as classic European scent. Like the you know the, the in the in the in the tobacco forty seven eleven range you know those kind of things but a real light no no not no but I'm saying not tobacco because there's no 
There's no, there's no tobacco, there's no leather, there's no musky. This is like taking the soapy side of 4711 and running with it. Right, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's it has a soapy thing. Yeah. yeah, it's a soapy, but without, there's not, there's a touch of floral, but it's really more soapy clean, not even a lot of citrus. It's like a touch of floral with soapy clean and a, and a touch of menthol. It's pretty subtle, actually. Oh, I love it. Blue. That's good. Yeah. This is really good. Whew. I like it. Um, all right. Formula K, not to be confused with Formula C or Formula F slash. <laughs> K, <laughs> this, is, uh, um, this is peppermint. Oh, nice. This one is, uh, so... Pfefferments? So, like, say? I think a lot of times when people are smelling things like, oh, it's a menthol thing, it's a menthol thing. Like, there's actually a big difference between spearmint, menthol, peppermint. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those are all very different things. And so, we'll see. If and this is, so. uh, peppermint. Oh, wow. Yeah, for sure. I mean, And there aren't that many men's things that are peppermint. No, there's a ton of menthol. And, and eucalyptus, men like it. Right, eucalyptus. There's a few things spearmint, but peppermint is not usually always a men's thing because it's kind of, this is like, this is sort of like wearing a candy cane and enjoying it. Yeah, it's a little double mint gum. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, double mint is spearmint, you're wrong. That's the, right? Double, double mint, spearmint, and peppermint. Yeah, double mint. but I'm saying, this is, this is like, this, is more, can, this yeah. is more candy cane. Yeah, you're right. This is candy cane territory. I mean, this is, this is really smells like the mint in my backyard. Yeah. You know, like it has that peppery yeah. edge to it. That's and nice. it has the green, too. Yeah. <laughs> it has the green as well. Yeah, I like that. Nice work. Um, all right, two more to go. Before, hopefully we won't run out of time. Lemon, agua de limon, agua de limon. Yeah, lemon. Lemon apiché, citrus clearly, made for warmer months. Warmer okay. months, uh, that's what we're in right now. So with lemon essence, it helps balance the skin's acid, oh. level. acid levels. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, just fresh summer day. Let's have it, guys. <laughs> we just cut off there. This is a long video. There's a lot to get through. Balsamic aftershave, strong herbal fragrance, rosemary, thyme, lavender. They tell you what's in it. You just tell me if you smell that. Oh, I definitely smell that. Oh, wow. A lot, a lot of, of rosemary. rosemary. Woo, wow. Yeah. I mean, almost on the... Rosemary has that slight hint of poopiness to it. I mean, love it. You love it. I, I, I have. I put in my eggs in the morning. It's so good. Yeah, I can appreciate it, but I feel like my first whiff of that oh, was. That's good. I love that. Mm -hmm. I think that would fade into the skin. It would. I, I bet when it fades down, it's gonna be all right. For me, I'm gonna a touch. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my a skin. A touch heavy on the rosemary. No, but wait. But to that. authentic. I mean, if you're into rosemary, what is it? Rosemary, thyme, and lavender. Is that what yeah. you said? Yeah, I mean, I, I smell all of those things in there. I mean, thyme and lavender are actually really close. Yeah. Like, like people. But. Just let it kind of go in the skin. Yeah, and I'm going to put on blue, and then we'll see who smells better. Whose elbow smells better? I was going to do my wrist. All right, fine. My elbow's going to totally smell better than your wrist. I mean... I know what you mean, like there's a farmy thing like, to the rosemary, but check it out. On we're just skin. We're just on rubbing skin. it in to get the scent of be the idea of being having it on. It smells great. It, it smells great on you. The rosemary fades a little bit and it just smells good. Or yeah. the herby goodness. Now smell me. And I just showed up at the party and who's who smells better? Oh my god. That's like a gin and tonic. I mean, it doesn't no, smell like a gin and tonic. It smells like I want to drink a gin and tonic. Yes. It doesn't smell like a gin and tonic at all. No, it smells like like the personification of a gin and tonic. Yeah. Like, like that guy drinks gin yeah, and tonic. Yeah, I'm wearing a suit. <laughs> I'm wearing a seersucker suit. I've just walked up to you, and I'm bubbling over with enthusiasm and brightness. That is nice. Which Woo! one is that? Blue. That's blue, baby. That is like, I've never classified myself as a big menthol guy. That's fantastic. But there's a... I don't even think of it as meant. I have a few other things on. I should put something else. You know what? I just realized I might have, we might be mixing fragrances right now because I tested something there earlier. So let's put something where we don't have anything. Because I now that I'm trying. Yeah, all right. Go. Let me smell first. Oh, that's good. That's good. 
That's nice. No, that's what I'm smelling. Yeah, but I had a little something else in there too. Oh, okay. That was making it a little sweeter. But it is. It's sweet. Oh, it's cool. It's cool, is what it is. It's like if you can combine a little sweet soapiness with. It feels fresh. Out. It yeah. feels like you just got out of the shower. In it. fact, it kind of reminds me of when I was a kid <sighs> and we would meet up at the park and, like, and the girl I liked, it came with wet hair and Jessica took a shower, <laughs> you know? And it smells like a little pert plussy in there, right? There's a, it's like it's like shampoo meets a slight bit of men's cl oh, of European cologne. Excellent. I told you. <laughs> I, I, I beat your uh, your balsamica bouteille. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> we, all, we all win because we yes. all get these. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> like you're gonna drink. <laughs>